What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. We are continuing Thriller Bark, diving into episodes 349 to 352. Remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes and the full length uncut versions of these episodes, check out the Patreon. Links are down below. We are live streaming every reaction now. So come on over to the Twitch, leave a follow. It is always a vibe. And check out the other social medias Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. You can see the following right here. I appreciate you guys immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. One Piece, episode 349. Let's do it. All right, here we go. This is episode 349. That boy Brooke came in clutch against the spider monkey. They've been hinting at Brooke and his relation to Ryuma. And what would that be? Is that a shadow? Was my theory correct? Oh, a soul. Okay. That looks sussy, what that man's doing right there. So he takes your soul out from you, like how we have the Sanji dog penguin. We have the Zoro getting lost zombie. So he takes your soul out and puts it in a dead, inanimate body. But Brooke can somehow return the soul. I purify it. The Humming Swordsman, which makes me curious. Five years ago, he wreaked havoc. Because he did the same exact move that Ryuma the zombie did, so I need to know the relation. <laughs> you don't have skin. I love how he'll say, like, my eyes, and then he'll always say, but I'm a skeleton, I don't have eyes. <laughs> Can we just talk about Robin's outfit, though? Golly, is she beautiful. I love his cane and how that's a sword. I love it so much. He ran into Cerberus as well. I don't have eyes. I hate this dude. His laugh is so funny. Robin's had enough too. <laughs> no more stuff. He's already dead. Yeah, with the same moves, the somewhat of the same core, you know. Why Sanji won't hit women, even as a zombie. I like that concept, our second souls. The shadow, shadow fruit. So we got Blackbeard with the dark, dark fruit and Moria with the shadow, shadow fruit. Now we can kill two birds with one stone, take out Moria, stop one of the seven warlords, and get Brooke on the squad. I would love that. So now I'm... My biggest curiosity is how does Hogback play into this genius surgeon? So he creates the inanimate body stronger with less weaknesses and more buffs, and then he uses... Okay. Okay. Now I'm getting the whole picture. That's the Zoro one. All those coffins have just inanimate bodies. And you get a super warrior. Yeah. On some fusion shit. So that's why his goal was to capture Luffy and the rest of the bountied straw hats, I see. I see. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You've been alone for so long. I love how he loves this. You're starting to piss Robin off. Can't be doing that. <laughs> so we know Perona, Absalom, and his hogback, the other one. Yes, it is. The three phantoms. Talk your shit, Luffy. 
Now we just need to learn how to purify these zombies, get their soul back into their normal bodies. Hopefully that can turn Zoro and Sanji back to normal. Back to normal. Shallot head. His head does look like a shallot. I won't lie. That's hilarious. Who didn't have a wanted poster? He did. That's hilarious. And we're listening in from Kumasi's body. Kumasi's gonna try to tell you again. <laughs> but you're not gonna let him talk. He's like, oh, no, actually. <laughs> I feel the most bad for Kumasi, I won't lie. You're very harsh. You're going to ask him questions when he's trying to snitch on you? They're not even asking him questions. They're just literally getting a better view. What the hell are you guys doing? Yeah, Mario 19, right? Or 900. Luffy is out here crawl fighting. He chewed through the metal cage. Hey, man, you do your little wiggle worm. You go, Luffy. We haven't seen Perona fight yet. Oh, it does make sense the ghosts that are going to turn you negative. Just make you all bummed and depressed. Went from a clam to a sea cucumber. Just horrible choices to be reborn as. So we're gonna. I'd actually. We're gonna see, shine a light to get a good view of his shadow and his soul. He's gonna snip it. I'm actually gonna get to see this process live. He peels it. I love the way they animate that. He's peeling it off the floor. I love how it's like physically connected to him. Are we gonna see a Luffy zombie? Imagine how strong Mario 900 would be if he had Luffy's soul put in there. And you immediately go unconscious. The greatest special zombie in history. I love how his shadow is literally like... Looks... Oh, it's crazy. Oh, that episode kind of went fast. I won't lie. All right, this is the next episode. This is 350. Bro, tell me why seeing a shadow like that reminds me of like Kingdom Hearts. Seeing like a Heartless or something, you know? The ultimate subordinate. He probably would be the strongest zombie he has. How are you going to ask him a question and then tell him to zip it? Bro, this man Kumasi has, has a horrible life. He's going to say you're being very mean. You're being you're very hard, bro. Hey, hey. Why are you shaking your butt? That's what she's thinking. He thinks he's getting sturdy over there. sort of laugh i put all my prowess into creating number 900 for a day like this i actually like seeing him reflected in his eye whoa 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 i'm not one who knows a lot of spoilers but one thing i do know is people have been hyping up kaido for ever and they're talking about him right now at episode 350 this man oda knew this man oda <laughs> now nah, loki would be broken having luffy be an undead subordinate just subservient to you 
Don't waken for two days. The stronger he is, the sooner he's put on a ship and sent off into the sea. Yep. So they have to keep the recipient alive in order to keep that shadow alive. Interesting. Well, thank you for all the information, Sir Brooke, and saving our lives. I do. Are you going to help us out, or are you going to keep doing your own solo thing? What is it? Like holy something? Salt? Salt is the purification tool, okay. Salt holds the power of the ocean. So if we had like... Interesting. So if we had like sea prism stone boxing gloves, we could use that too, but salt has the essence of the sea. I like that. He did fight Ryuma before. Okay. I fled for fear of my life. That's super interesting. What promise would that be? I respect it. And then he thinks about how he lost miserably and got... Now he's a little fearful. Crazy seeing Brooke actually shook up. This is getting interesting. I'm glad I'm finally getting some answers, some developments. I really enjoy Brooke as a character so far. We actually have a way to stop these unbeatable zombies. I'm just happy about that. They seem too broken. All it takes is a little salt. Alright, let's see this Mario 900. See what this body is. I mean, I guess you do need a huge door and a huge tunnel just to fit Gecko Moria's big ass, but I am so curious. Yep. The fair deduction for my man Usopp. So we're going with them. Having the three cowards be like <laughs> undercover right now is very interesting. What was the one question Frankie asked him? We don't even get to see it. The general zombies are back. He refills his drink with it. That's a Loki hilarious. Bro, I don't need to see his ass cheeks, but that's Zoro. You can even hear the same voice. That's hilarious. What did Frankie ask him? What his promise was to his crewmates? We know Frankie's the most emotional of the gang, man. Frankie always be crying at the backstories. <laughs> You'll never find a better guy. What did he ask him? Ooh, this is what I love, especially with that shot of the red door outline. Yo ho ho ho. Yo ho ho ho. I can't wait till Brooke joins the crew and starts actually singing. Plays this like a sea shanty. That man's got the vocals on him, I swear. With the twirl at the end? Brooke kind of clean with it. All her souls going back. Brooke's kind of clean with it. The humming swordsman. Yo, uh, uh, uh. How are you going to have such a badass moment <laughs> and then be scared? So. 
I guess it is similar to what Brooke said. You put a soul that's strong, aka Brooke, into a body that's already strong, aka Ryuma, a samurai from Wano, it would just turn into a stronger being. That's kind of fucked up. Kind of crazy. I wonder who's going to be the one to take down Ryuma. I hope it's Brooke, but I low-key would love to see Zoro fight him. Five hundred years ago, when he conquered a nation, <laughs> famous giant continent polar. This should get very interesting. Tenshi just always being a hater. <laughs> Well, fucker looks ginormous. I know he's a giant, but a zombie giant looks insane. He's the only berserker to have gone down in history as a devil. Oars. This is where they're going to end the episode, huh? Oh, that is quite the insane body. That's what Luffy's going to be put in. Oh, hell nah. All right, this is episode 351. Even though I don't want this to happen, obviously, because it's our boy Luffy, I'm kind of curious about oars. Imagine a giant of this size, strength, and with Luffy's soul being subservient to you, being your zombie. And... Five hundred years of slumber. So far, every giant we've met has been one of the coolest people out there. So I'm very curious if this is going to change my per perception on them a little bit. A fucking continent polar. I wonder if he's just going to want meat and laugh all the time, just be super jolly. We're going to see his pupils come back into his eyes. I do like his design, though. If there was supposed to be a terrorizing giant that looked like a devil, this would be it for sure. Especially with his stitches and his zombification. Let's see those pupils. I'm cutting from his eyes to Chopper's terrified eyes. Oh, no. You idiotes. Maybe Nami Chopper and Usopp don't have to worry about getting captured because this whole place is going to turn to rubble. Bro, just the scale alone. It is definitely going to have Luffy's voice. I was somewhat accurate on that. First thing out of Luffy's mind after whatever sort of process he goes through is always going to be meat. He's sleeping, wants meat. Just ate meat, wants meat. Luffy could never be a, a, ve a vegetarian or a vegan. He just loves meat way too much, pause. I would use this opportunity to leave. I'm glad... I'm glad you guys are being blown down the... T yup. <laughs> yup. Exactly. I would be dipping. So he still has his core and his personality, but then the zombie side of him is like, oh, why did I say that? Who is that? I love Frankie's commercial cut with the, with the cola factory being produced and over to Robin's. So meanwhile, Brooke told Robin and uh, Frankie about what happens. They got to see it live. So they're just deducting from seeing it.
I like how we got some answers from Brooke over to uh, Robin and Frankie, but they're just being great detectives right now, just deducing everything. And shout out you for starting to hate on fucking Hogback. Fuck your shit, Chopper. He's a scumbag. How people fall from grace, you know? Absalom is so fast. Oh, hell no. That is creepy as shit. And we gotta whoop his ass for what he just did to our fucking dudes. Whoop out the Kabuto. Why does Usab have it instead of Soga King? Is Chopper just now starting to put it together? Six Chamber Viper Star. He can even turn people he touches invisible too? That's insane. That is so... Imagine being invisible and trying to be saved, taken hostage. That'd be so creepy and scary. Absalom's Loki a creeper. Oh, hell no. Nah. All we want is your shadow, bro. Okay, way to sneak out of there. Turn to a zombie snowball. The impromptu accidental plays, you know, whatever we can do to get out of here. Robin, Frankie gonna save the day. Maybe a little bit of salt. Yep. Yep, little pieces of salt. All we need to do is give uh, Usopp some, like, pieces of physical salt. He just... I love Frankie's new fit, his addition. To this. I love Robin's new fit. You know, I just gotta always say it. Yeah, you are a short one. She did get snatched up. Straw hats are finally starting to be reunited. Hell yeah. All right, this is the final episode of the session, 352. We get the confrontation between Brooks Shadow and Brooke, aka Brooke Shadow, aka Ryuma. That's the thing. They might have the same soul, but Ryuma is a samurai from Wano. Mini shallot instead of shallot head now. He's so, so much smaller. That is hilarious. That's the thing you don't want to say to even Zombie Luffy. The 
They're just bringing as much food as they can from Hogback's Mansion to Moria's spot. The freezer. This is insane. This man Luffy can literally eat through a whole island. Salted fish? Hey, that looks like the uh, fish that Sanji won or cooked that one time during that cooking competition. What is it called? Elephant tuna? Elephant bluefin tuna. What the fuck is going to eat them too? RIP lock, shock, and barrel. They were pretty quick with that. <laughs> quick thinking by those idiots. Man just got purified. How was he going to take to being someone else's sub subordinate? One, he's just so strong. And two, Luffy's will is so set in stone, you know? I love how he doesn't even have his gum gum power. Well, does he? What is a devil fruit user who gets turned into a zombie? Because he keeps your... Brook said you keep his abilities and everything. But I don't think he could just start stretching. Look at the size of them, though. That is insane. That is insane. So he doesn't have his gum gum abilities. He's still Luffy in there for sure. Just Luffy in a big body. Damn, I love the scale of him compared to the island. He looks ginormous. I love how they had to mention early in this arc that Brooke is so agile because he's so light from being just a skeleton. I just like that fact. He could do some crazy shenanigans. What in the Scooby-Doo? As he finds out which zombie has his shadow. That's a cool shot. The wind flowing with the grass. Jesus. This makes me want to watch that one shot Oda has on Netflix. I think it's about Ryuma. So if I get even any info about Ryuma before he died, like I'd be super curious. That's the only thing that he has remnants of his human life and it won't grow back. He better keep that afro. Yeah, but sometimes you need some ridiculousness, you know. Ooh! Not the fro! Anything but the fro! Even Ryuma is nice with it. I still want to know what Frankie asked Brooke. I made Frankie so emotionally tied to him, but oh, that's a clean shot with the sword still falling down. As he begs for his life, like Ryuma said. That is one reason he can't kill him. He needs to let him live. And Brooke does leave. And now he's sick of running, so he's going to fight. Mm. So now we get the rematch. Right back to it. No hesitation. I've spent these fa past five years. 
Okay, Mr. Training Man. That was kind of a fire shot. Yeah, this is who I hope gets super knocked out. We gotta deal with Absalom. Stealing our girl like that? No. Who the fuck is this little creepy? Is he gonna get them married? Hell nah. He's like a little zombie tailor? Nah, no sir. All right, so we've had some interesting developments this arc so far with Luffy being put into Orz's body. We get to see Gekko Moria. Everything going on right now with Brook and Ryuma and stealing of the shadows being put into the, they call them Mario's, the bodies of these ex-warriors, ex-pirates, ex-scallywags. It's very interesting. I like that concept though it makes me want to get more of these zombies backstories like when they were alive like ors 500 years ago that could have been a crazy story ryuma wano samurai even gecko moria mentioned kaido like i said i don't know many spoilers but i know kaido is one of those hyped up characters you know so i'm super intrigued we need to get the rid of absalom he needs to stop creeping on our girl nami I love that we know their weakness is salt because it's the essence of the sea and the sea gets rid of any devil fruit powers currently contained in someone's body. So it makes sense. I really enjoy that. Brooke be killing it with them voices, the humming. Yo -ho -ho -ho. Yo -ho -ho -ho. So I am very invested. This is a very funny arc. I like the concepts a lot. I like the eeriness. I'm curious what kind of fights we're going to have because I was thinking we were going to have like one-on-one -on -one fights with these generals, but now it's a much different ball game. They're unkillable except for the purification. So who's going to fight Gekko Moria? Who's going to fight Absalom? We still got to deal with Perona. We still got to deal with Hogback. I'm hoping Chopper gets to at least give him a scolding or a piece of his mind because Hogback's a piece of shit. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Like I said, check out the Patreon. Up to 16 episodes early access, as well as the full uncuts. Come on over to the Twitch and vibe with us. We are live watching all these reactions. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.